what is up guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to flash Android 15 ROMs on the Redmi K20 Pro and here let me tell you that I'll be following the encrypted process I'm not gonna be following the decrypted process because I feel that in this dynamic partition kind of thing decryption will actually hamper your flashing experience more in the long term so that is why I'm gonna be encrypted and I'm gonna be flashing the Android 15 Yub ROM I think that's the name so yeah let's begin so here on the K20 Pro, I'm still using the Evolution X ROM right now. Let me show you the build date. Here, as you can see, this is the 9.4 version of Evolution X. I know there is a newer update, but I didn't update it. This is the 17th September 2024 build that I have over here. And this is, of course, based on Android 14 right now. And I'm encrypted, guys, but I'll be using recommended recovery by the Yup ROM. And here, here it says that this is the Yup ROM Android 15. The build date is 18th October 2024. And here we have the download link and there is the flashing guide. And in this flashing guide section, you will find the recommended recovery. That is the Orange Fox recovery, the DSP one. And there is a TWR recovery too. But I'm going to be using this Orange Fox recovery. And you also need the legacy to dynamic zip. I have also downloaded that. And there is the full flashing guide that how can you actually flash it. You have to format data and stuff. So before proceeding make sure you have backed up everything from your k20 pro otherwise you lose your data so make sure you back up everything before proceeding of course you need a laptop or pc from which you have to flash this from to your redmi k20 pro and make sure you have the adb drivers installed i'll link it below in the description for your laptop or pc and of course if you want to flash this from make sure you do it on your own risk because it might be buggy it might get you storage issues and stuff be careful about those because in this flashing guide itself if you scroll down a little bit as you can see if you face issues with the apps accessing storage format data again and stuff like that so yeah it, it might be buggy of course everywhere because it's early build of android 15 this is the orange fox recovery that we're going to be using the version is 12.1 and here if you just click on download and click on open it will open this specific website and you can also download this image file but if you want to flash it with your existing orange fox recovery you can just flash this zip file as well and by the way all the files that i need i have created a folder right here if you're noticing and in this a15 k20 pro folder you will find the former file and then we have the legacy to retrofit dynamic kind of zip file and we have the orange fox zip file then the orange fox image file of course i have downloaded that right now and here we have the YAP ROM. This is the GApps included ROM. As usual, I'm going to be trying to flash the GApps included version. Okay, right now I'm going to be connecting the phone to the laptop. And here I'm going to be just plugging in my USB cable. And make sure you have the file transfer enabled. And once you do that, the internal storage is appearing right now if you're noticing. I'll just copy this whole folder, A15 K20 Pro folder. In the internal storage itself, I might have to copy it later again because I will be formatting data. But yeah, let's just continue. So copying is finally done. I can see this folder right now in the phone's internal storage. So right now I'm going to be rebooting to recovery. But if you're doing it fresh, make sure you follow the how to flash recovery kind of guides. I have those in the description box below. But right now I already have a working custom ROM here. In here, I can notice the files, the A15 K20 Pro folder. We have the Orange Fox recovery file, which I'll be flashing right now. This is a zip file that I'll be flashing with the existing Orange Fox recovery. And this is a former file right now let's just reboot to recovery here i'm gonna just select recovery so right now it's gonna reboot to recovery here it's asking my pin so i'll just enter that so first things first what i'm gonna do i'm gonna flash the orange fox recovery which is recommended so i'll go into this folder i'm gonna be flashing the orange fox zip file so i'll select that and uncheck this reboot after installation because it will do that automatically i guess but yeah let's just swipe to install and wait for the time being And here also it is asking me for the pin. So I'll just enter that it says welcome to orange fox. So hopefully it has flashed successfully. Let me just go into the settings and about. So yes, this is the DSP kind of orange fox recovery 12.1 version shows FPE 2 V2 or something like that. And F2FS compression you can see right there. Hopefully the texts are clear, not really sure. But yeah, let's just continue and go to the file section. Okay, so I'll try to do one thing. I'll just format data at the last step. But right now I'm gonna be flashing the ROM and stuff. So the first file I select is the legacy to retrofit dynamic zip. This is the first one. Then add to queue. 
Then I have to select the former file. This is the latest former file that I have over here. I have just selected that. And this is the second file I have selected and I'll add to queue again. Then I'll select the ROM file at the last step. So the ROM file I have just selected. So if you want to view the queue, first file is the legacy to retrofit zip file. Then the second one is the firmware file. The third one is the ROM file. Once you have done everything, just swipe to install or swipe to flash and wait for the time being. So all the files have flashed successfully. Right now, what I need to do is format data. So I'll just go home maybe and then wipe section, then format data and type yes. Let's just hit write. Let's see if it shows any error or something. Nope, it didn't show any kind of error. So right now I'm gonna just reboot to system. All right, it shows the yup boot animation. So let's wait for the time being. All right, we can see setup screen of Android and it shows welcome to your Android. So I'm gonna just set it up. Right now I'm just putting my fingerprint and it seems to be working. That's really nice. And here if I show you the Android version section, this is insane guys. We have the Yup logo up top and we have the Android version as Android 15. Oof, that looks super slick. And here we have Android 15 on the Redmi K20 Pro, finally. This is insane. I'm gonna have to screenshot this. Okay, so screenshot is not working. <laughs> the three finger screenshot gesture, so I just use this. All right, these buttons look at the screenshot kind of buttons, looks really cool. It's circular, share, edit, and delete. Let's just go to the edit. So, this looks pretty much similar, in my opinion, in Android 15 too. So, I'll check all of those later on. But yeah, this is insane that we have Android 15 finally on the Redmi K20 Pro. The security patch is latest of October 5th, 2024. We have the Yup build version, this is the 15 Urshanabi or something like that. 18th October 2024 build. You can also see the change logs from right here. This is nice. So huge thanks to the developer. We have Android 15 finally on the Redmi K20 Pro. My mind cannot simply comprehend. We have the stock kernel as 4.14, open ala Soviet star kernel. Just look at the going back animation. Let me just disable the dark theme for the time being. Let me show you side by side. Here we have Android 15 and here we have Android 14. From the system, if I just go back, as you can see, there is the animation of Android 15, but in Android 14, there is no animation while going back, like this one, just going back a little bit. And, if, and there is a Yup updater right here. There is the status bar tuner and all. I'll be trying to review it fully later on. By the way, I just tried rebooting it to recovery and I saw that the pin and stuff, everything is working fine. So Android 15's encryption here is actually working fine with the DSP kind of recovery mentioned for the Android 15. And here, the stock camera is this lineage kind of camera. Not very good in my opinion. Let me show you here. Yes, the front camera and stuff also is working fine. Let's take a photo. Yes, the back camera also should be working great. There is the video settings as well. Taking normal videos and stuff should be working great. Yep, as you can see. And the photos that I took. Yep, all of those are working fine. So this is a basic camera that is present by default. So you can use it if you want to. So in Android 15 also, the camera and stuff, everything is working fine. Also the haptic feedback, it's great here. Yep, always on display looks cool. The animation I have to set looks much better than Android 14 already. Yeah, it's really fast. The few minutes cannot here, it's really fast. So thank you so much for watching this video guys and that is how you flash Android 15 drums on the Redmi K20 Pro for now. If in future I have a better method, I'll be of course making a video on that too. And I will be making Android 15 flashing guides for other devices too like Poco A5 and stuff. So do stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Share this video with your friends. If you want them to know how to flash Android 15 on their Redmi K20 Pro, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KT Index signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.